Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. Tonight, we are going to the Beach Club slash Epcot Resorts area with the Peaches family. Um, they're having a little staycation and asked if we wanted to come along for a little swim. Um, and so we're gonna eat dinner before we go and I'm gonna share that with you. I am making some stuffed peppers tonight. So I'm starting off by making the inside of what I'm gonna stuff the peppers with. And that is a full onion, some pesto sauce, garlic, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna wait until the onions get translucent and add in the mushrooms. So I finally chopped up some mushrooms, a full package, eight ounces, and then added like probably a quarter cup of salsa verde in there to get a little spiciness going. So while the meat browns up a little bit, I mean the mushrooms like it's kind of acting like the meat in this situation. Um, I don't want it to cook too much because mushrooms really do cook down. Um, but while this cooks for a little bit, the last two ingredients are a can of black beans and then some spinach. Um, and neither of those take that long to cook. So during this time, I'm going to prep the peppers that I will be stuffing. Alrighty, the drained and rinsed beans are going in. And then I chopped up like three big handfuls of spinach, probably like a little less than a cup. So now I'm just gonna spunk it up. I added some chili powder, a little lime's worth of juice. Probably add a little bit more salt and pepper too. So these peppers are going alongside like a really quick red sauce and whole wheat pasta that we got. Um, and then I'm also gonna make a salad. So what I'm gonna do is take out the meat of the stuffed peppers, put it in a different container. Um, I'm probably only gonna make half of it tonight because these are this is kind of like weird for a leftover. So when I make leftovers, I'll just like freshen, freshen it up and like cook the the actual peppers themselves then, instead of cooking them now and um, putting them in the fridge. So I'm gonna set aside all of the meat and then start the sauce in the same container. So it has a little bit of those spices and then I'll cook the peppers on the stove top. So the sauce is pretty simple. I just used two cans of, two small cans of tomato sauce, some garlic and a whole lot of parsley. I might add a little bit of oat milk to make it a little creamier and a little bit more substantial because we're also going to have this on the pasta, um, but I'm going to kind of just taste as I go and see. So I did end up adding probably like three quarters of a cup of oat milk and then a tablespoon of the cashew parmesan I made yesterday. I'll link that again in the description, um, but you can just use nutritional yeast to make it a little bit more. Um, like have that like cheesy nutty flavor. Tastes really good. And um, I'll show you how the peppers look in, um, in the sauce. I goofed cutting the peppers the first time around. So these are each cut two different ways. I think I prefer it the halves -y way. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna cover this so that the outside peppers cook a little bit more. Some people do bake them prior to stuffing, um, but I just didn't thing to do that tonight so that could help if you don't like your peppers crisp but they're just going to soak in all the juices i poured a little bit of the sauce on top now i'm going to make the salad and the pasta just finished right. as i finish up the day i wanted to show you guys this yes it has arrived our crib i probably won't be able to resist and i'll probably put it together tonight but i want to cut it open at least just to see it Look at how well that is packaged. That makes me so happy. They even that's even zip tied. The booklet is even zip tied on. Oh ho ho ho! So what I did is I opened the box. I took all the pieces out. I think I'm gonna keep this cardboard box because this actually has. I think that's the converter piece to make it into a toddler bed. So. I gotta wait through to read the instructions, but I just wanna get all the pieces up. Look at that beautiful walnut. It's all so pretty. And looks like a lot more to do to put together than I thought. But 
I will probably end up doing that tonight when we come back after our fun evening. Okay, so I got this salad idea from Instagram. Basically, you just coat your greens in a brine. So I used the banana pepper ring brine. You could do pickle brine. You could do caper brine, olive brine. Um, and then you add in a spoonful of hummus, and then you mix it all up. And it just has a bunch of yummy good flavors. You don't have to uh, overdo it with really anything else. I topped Peter's with olives because he likes olives. I don't. I put a little jardinera in mine as well as a couple of cherry tomatoes. The peppers have been cooking away. Honestly, you can cook them as long as you want. Um, we'll probably just, once Peter's done with work, we'll just probably decide to be done and eat. But I'm cooking them on like medium low. I just took a four, literally a four minute nap on the couch because I had to get up early because of internet issues. Um, but this food looks delicious. Look at this delicious vegan pasta stuffed pepper deliciousness. Wow. We haven't parked here in a long time. I don't think we've parked here in well over a year. I feel like Jill was with us the last time we parked here. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe she was know. here two times ago. Yeah. You know, I think it was two food and wines ago, because then we come here and we parked here and we did the live stream explaining the food and wine menu. Oh, you're, I think you're right. Oh, my memory served me correct <laughs> for once. Mm -hmm. oh, it smells so good. Oh, I don't think we're going to go in here now because we're going to get over to the pool, but we will have to, have to stop in there before we leave. Oh my goodness. It's official. Ample Hills is not returning here or Disney Springs Very after sad. COVID. I just sent a, uh, yeah. a picture of it to my buddy Steve. He's he, from where it's like the original. He's from Brooklyn. <laughs> so I don't remember if we said it or not, but we are at the clown pool at the boardwalk because, oh, they're starting activities, because Stormalong Bay is not open right now with the beach club, so they have access to this pool. There's also a quiet pool over there we can use, but we decided to come here first. Not super busy. We're going to stay in the shade. It is way hot. It's way hot. It's like you gotta, 100 degrees. You got to change and get in there. Yeah. Oh, it's not coming across properly on my cell phone, but it is just after nightfall. It looks brighter on my cell phone than in real life. And here we are. Palm pool's right there. I just left my friends. I'm going to go for a nice four mile run. I think I talked about the running plan the day that we deleted all the footage, so I'll talk about it later. Alrighty, so we are done swimming. There's a little bit of lightning, but the, the clown pool closed. I don't think that we'll go to the quiet pool, but I did change. Peter's still running, and we are waiting for pizza. It smells so good. Maybe I'll have a bite. Alright, I'm going to find the girls. They're going to get pizza at the window. I cut my run at three miles, but... My new thing is consistency, not necessarily the miles. I wore the wrong mask today. This mask is not my favorite for running. What movie are they playing out for Movies Under the Stars? Looks like Halloween Town. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh look at yeah. that gorgeous pizza. Have we shown our friends yet? Hi. Happy Megan. late birthday, Megan. <laughs> Months later. <laughs> when you live no. in Disney World. <laughs> Mine's actually yeah. sooner now. I know. Right. Probably. But we'll She'll be, be 12 on October 11th. Your birthday's on October 11th? Yeah. How weird is that? Extremely. <laughs> Guess what's that from? Why does the boardwalk pizza window break us? <laughs> I took a baby piece. <laughs> I think this is... Oh, I know. I had Fisherman's Pie. 2020. That's the, this is the third time I've eaten non vegan. <laughs> Three breaks. And I'm yeah. gonna get beer cheese soup tomorrow at La Celia. You really should. I really am. Oh. <laughs> okay. It was decided when you were on your run. Okay. <laughs> True. We were gonna take a clip of the solarium anyways, but Megan and Katie just walked in. <laughs> they caught us. They caught us. We didn't go in there, but we'll be back. Yeah. There she is gonna get ready to post a, a blog post. Maybe past midnight, but better than it's better late than ever. And I'm about to, even though it's past midnight, tackle the crib. Whoa. You almost spilled everything over. Alright, so that lasted all about five minutes. I got four pieces of wood loosely attached before Eve 
got the confidence to try to hunt down all the little pieces of styrofoam on the floor. So I had asked Sarah to take Eve out of the room and work on the blog post out there so I could close the door because she can't be eating that. But now it's just me, my son's crib, all of my baby's cribs, if we can make sure it stays in good condition, and some music, I guess. But I've literally waited my whole life to put this crib together, and I'm very excited. All right, we're looking good. I think we're more than halfway. Actually, we might be about halfway. Gotta put this on top rails and that, but it's a very pretty crib for my babies. Two hours later. I don't think it was two hours. No. It is gorgeous. I'm so happy. I thought the wood. Does anybody else like when you make a purchase, you like go back and you look at it a million times even after you bought it? Because that was me in this crib. It was taking a lot of time and then I was second guessing the color that we picked. But truly, I'm so happy with it. Even it, it met, matches the chest in here. It matches our new table so well. It is beautiful. I'm kind of an escape artist. I'm sure my children might be too. I think we'll have to like look up exactly, but that's the highest it goes. I mean, we got a while before he's like grabbing the side and pulling himself up. Right. Evie isn't really a fan. I think she thinks it's a big crate or a big cage for her. Should I try to put her in? Wow. Good girl. She knows to get she knows to bed. Alrighty, we're headed to bed. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched, but must be felt with the heart. Helen Keller. Oh, it's almost two in the morning, but it is the weekend and we are celebrating our anniversary tomorrow and I might get a tattoo. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>